Hi everyone, welcome to a rather exciting Tuesday webinar from Duck Soup. As we wait for everyone to join us, let me introduce myself. I'm Jo Henderson and I work in the marketing team at Duck Soup. For those of you who have joined us before, welcome back. And if you're new to our session, then it's great to have you on board. Our webinars take place every two weeks where we share tips and techniques for successful LinkedIn outreach and automation. So to cover off a few of the usual questions that I get asked at this stage, the session will be recorded and will be shared via email with all of you a few hours after the webinar has ended. It will also be available on our website along with all of our previous recordings. If you have any questions, please add them into the questions box on the GoTo dashboard. I always endeavour to answer as many as I can throughout the session and I save the best ones to put to the real experts at the end. So make sure you stick around. Now, before I hand over, and speaking of the experts, hopefully you can see one, if not two, handsome gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> behind you, Jess. No, no, it's not Christmas just yet. Um, you may or may not see, uh, a, a, well, you can see Giles' familiar face, and you may or may not see another one pop up shortly. Um, hopefully he will do, in which case that will be the founder of Duck Soup, Will van der Zanden. But he may decide to stay a little bit of a secret in the background, so we'll wait and see, shall we? <laughs> so before I hand over the microphone to them both, let me just say a few words about today's session. As many of you will know, we are very reactive to our customers' needs. We encourage our users to provide feedback and request developments that will help them to accelerate their LinkedIn outreach and boost their campaign results. Today's announcement is in response to our user requests. And although we all know what today's session is about, I'm going to hand over to Giles and Will to formally let the cat out of the bag all about today's session. Giles. Excellent. If you could flick to the next slide, that'd be awesome. Thanks, Will. Um, hello, good, uh, good morning, good afternoon, or indeed good evening to you wherever you may be in the world. And thank you once again for joining us in the latest of our Duck Soup webinars. And as Joe's just said, my name's Giles and I'm Head of Professional Services here at Duck Soup. And today we are delighted to be joined by the founder of Duck Soup to talk about everything relating to our new cloud edition. And that's that's Will van der Sandler. Um, if you have um, joined this webinar, then you may have seen some of our social media posts, posts relating, relating to the launch of our long awaited cloud edition. And do keep listening because uh, towards the end, we'll have an exclusive cloud launch discount code for you to use, which we'll share towards the end of the uh, the webinar today. So let's let's get straight into it and, uh, and what are we gonna talk about today? So if you can just flick through to the next slide as well. So as usual, there's gonna be a mix of a few slides and then a bit of demo and, and bits and pieces like that. So what are we gonna cover? We're gonna do uh, a very quick, for anyone who's new, just in, case you're in, just in case you're brand new to Duck Soup and you've stumbled across this webinar at some point, what is Duck Soup? Then we're gonna talk about the cloud edition, why we've gone down this route, why we now have this edition available. There's going to be a, a, a demo as well, a live demo, and, and everything will work seamlessly as always, of course. And then we'll just do a very quick, uh, where do I start, how to get started, how to, how to get yourself up and running on this new edition. So very quickly, to so anyone who's joining, uh, joining us for the first time, what is Duck Soup? DuckSoup is a tool with which you can automate lead generation activity on the, the LinkedIn platform, allowing you to scale up your outreach and engagement on the platform. There are now three, yes, three paid versions of DuckSoup. We've got a pro version, a turbo version, and the brand new cloud edition. And in, irrespective of which version you have, DuckSoup mimics human behavior on the LinkedIn platform. You basically find or define the list of people you wanna reach out to, and then you trigger DuckSoup to carry out your chosen actions and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to hand over to uh, to will who will take us a little bit further into this journey and of exploration and discovery around cloud so uh, handing over to you will if you're there <laughs> yes thanks john uh, i am actually here um thanks for the intro and um uh, i will actually switch my camera on as soon as i'm off the on the other screen because uh, i can't find the controls of the <laughs> of my <laughs> I'm not so uh, in, uh, into the um, into the tool. So, but I, I will show my face in in, in a moment. Uh, yes, just a bit quickly about the cloud edition. Um, so it has all the functionality of DuckSoup that you already know and uh, hopefully love. Um, and now you can have that uh, basically running uh, in the cloud, um, doing the work uh, on your behalf on your LinkedIn. 
um, without having to look after uh, anything else apart from defining campaigns and enrolling profiles. Um, and well, the obviously benefits of uh, the Cloud Edition is that it's based on proven technology. Um, we uh, have been running TuxSoup for a good nine years already and in all those years built up a, a pretty good I should say uh, understanding of uh, how to automate uh, LinkedIn safely and uh, all that technology really is also used in the cloud edition. Um, another key benefit <clears throat> uh, is that it's always on um, users of the pro or turbo edition whereby you uh, need to leave your machine running or you have to run machines uh, specifically for the task of running the outreach uh, that can become a bit of a operational overhead that you don't want to deal with and Cloud Edition takes all that away. Um, with, and with the secure deployment, so this is all running in the cloud um, that is yeah, set up in such a way that it's the, the best possible setup for DuckSoup uh, so that you can do your uh, your outreach uh, security. Uh, so those are really the key benefits at a at a sort of uh, functional level. Um, so let me now try and go to. Oh no, sorry, no, I will do that uh, for the demo. This one, uh, I think, Giles. Yeah, that's to... that's over, that's over to me again. Yeah, it's like a game of, yeah. game of tennis. Go to one, then to the other. Yeah. Um, so why did we go down this route? And Joe's already uh, pertained to this already. You know, market demand. We've seen a massive uptick in in demand across the board for lead gentles on LinkedIn. You know, at all levels, from from single uh, single person businesses all the way through to large business development teams. Um, we're seeing you know expansion across the board there. And, and as, as Joe mentioned earlier, yeah, we have a, a portal whereby we listen to our, our, um, our users feedback, we get feature requests in and in response to that, and also from speaking to users via support calls or consultation calls and demo calls, we're listening to what the requirement is in the market. And this has been very much a move that we've seen um, over the last year or 18 months or so. Lots of users looking at the possibility of using maybe alternative um, devices to, to keep their lead generation activity running or maybe running via a VPS. We now have the all-in-one solution for you to be able to make sure that you can, you can do all of this just through DuckSoup. You don't need to run a VPS. You don't need to have another device running. You can literally just enroll and go. Um, so that's why we've gone down this route. It's complementary to all of our existing portfolio already as well. It's just another step, an another extra layer of service that we can uh, can now provide. And now we go back to Will for uh, hopefully a little bit of live demo. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Thanks, uh, thanks, Giles. Yes, the demo, um, which uh, I'm hoping most people are um, really uh, waiting for. So let me just switch my camera on so now I can um see the control panel and i think you can also see the control panel so okay. that... there he is right let me just can you uh still also see my browser window yes yeah? yes okay indeed. um so i'll just first give you a uh, a quick overview of how uh to get up and running and you'll see that it's really really extremely straightforward uh and then i'll go into a bit, bit more detail on how to use uh this um cloud edition and some of the more well uh advanced sort of uh use usages that uh people will probably be wondering about um but yeah the the ducks of cloud edition uh, to get going with that um, is, well, first of all, what you got to make sure is that you need to be uh, logged into LinkedIn, like I'm here now. Um, and this is just to get the, well, the smoother sort of uh, zero to 100 experience is really if you make sure that this, uh, that you're logged in, that you go to the, uh, the Chrome Web Store, um, you click on Add to Chrome, and uh, actually the update version 904 was done uh, was published today uh, into the web store uh, you do need that version for the cloud edition to uh, uh, to work right so then you click on add um, and I already see it here 
So this uh, will automatically open also the dashboard. Now, so what, what, what are we looking at now? So as you can see here, uh, we have the uh, cloud edition. It's got a different uh, color, a raspberry. Um, and uh, if you see that color, then you know you're running the, uh, the cloud edition. Uh, so once you install the extension, um, actually, if you do this for the first time, you will also need to uh, then log into the dashboards. And once you've done that, uh, you'll be uh, landing on this uh, on this page. And basically, what will have happened by then as well, although uh, depending on how fast uh, the cloud session can be spun up, it could take a bit longer. But you will see when you go to your cloud monitor, uh, that's where you can see uh, what that the cloud session has been created. Uh, you can see that whether it's ready or if it's starting up, if it's logging in, etc. you'll see different statuses. Uh, and also you can see uh, the profile you're logged in as, it's just to give you, um, yeah, give you a, an, uh, some certainty of what actually is going to happen uh, with uh, your uh, activity in the cloud. Um, and one important note here, um, that uh, it says here. Um, so basically, the cloud session is actually sharing uh, your LinkedIn session that you're that you're running on your browser. So if you log out, if I were to log out, and I won't do that because uh, that will just uh, spoil the demo. Uh, but they will actually log out the um, the cloud session as well. So uh, they are basically um, uh, one and the same thing. Uh, so that's something to be uh, uh, to be aware of. Um, so once you've, yeah, what you want you at this stage, you're basically done. You you have installed uh, the cloud session. You've launched the so you installed the cloud edition and you installed the uh, so you launched the cloud session. Um, now one thing to note here is that the extension here uh, is actually the same for all versions of DuckSoup. So uh, the Pro edition or the Turbo Edition or the Cloud Edition, they all install from this, uh, this screen. Uh, it's really uh, down to the plan that you subscribe to or the license key that you have, uh, how, and that's how DuckSoup, uh, the DuckSoup extension will work in a particular mode uh, according to the plan that you have. Uh, but the extension is always the same. Um, now, some of you might be wondering, uh, why do I need this extension? Uh, I thought we were running in the cloud. Now, the extension is only really needed uh, for, uh, well, for two purposes. Um, uh, the key one here is that the extension is responsible for uh, creating the uh, cloud session. So as the uh, extension starts up uh, uh, locally, it will basically get some information from your browser and then create the session remotely. So for that purpose, uh, we need the extension. And the second part is that uh, in a sort of day-to-day -day use case that we foresee is uh, that the enrolling, so adding prospects into your campaigns, you will still do uh, via LinkedIn on your local browser. Uh, so that's why you also need the extension. Uh, now for the second part, you can actually do that in different ways, but uh, the, the main use case really for us is the enrolling via the search in LinkedIn. So I will, I will show you that in a second. Uh, so that's why the extension is needed. Uh, it doesn't, it is not needed for anything else. You, you can also uninstall it and um, the cloud session will uh, still happily run um, and continue doing its work. So uh, let me show you then how this works. As I said, the, the, um, the extension is still used to enroll profiles. So I, um, if I go to the dash, I've actually created a little campaign here um, for the purpose of this demo. The cloud edition demo <laughs> with a connection request and a thank you message. So it's a, just a standard uh, kind of um, campaign. And I'll show you. So from here, what I'll do is I'll um, I'll add Giles to this campaign uh, from this uh, this test uh, profile. If I do a search uh, for people, uh, you'll see the that the widget will still appear as before and that's because you still want to enroll uh, people and so once this is showing i just click on enroll and now the uh, the camp of all has been added to the campaign and if i go back to the dashboard 
and this will look familiar for people who have used the um, the um, uh, turbo edition before so now you can see in the queue activity the connection request for um that is sitting here waiting to be uh, executed <laughs> and um now if i refresh oh no I obviously need to wait a little bit more um so while i do that um let me just quickly check so uh, one of the things to also be aware of is that the extension and also the cloud session will actually work in the same time zone. So any changes that you make here in the planner, they will work in the same way as uh, uh, in the uh, time zone wise as the ones that you, uh, the changes, so sorry, the change that you make locally on your uh, uh, extension here, they will be transferred to the extension that is running and it will work in the same time zone. So you don't have to worry about that. And if you then go back, well, let me just go back here and press this, right. Um, so that's a, a good step. So now you can see the activity has uh, been uh, taken from the queue and they will always take a few uh, seconds to run. So let me just check the activity log and if I hit refresh. Um, so let's give it a moment to, to run. Um, uh, let's see this again and obviously this will take longer than expected um but in a moment we should also be able to see it in here oh, it's, so you see the um uh, uh, the, the profile of jazz has been added to the to the uh to the queue or sorry to the campaign um and now it's also been he's been invited as you can see here uh the message has been sent and the activity log will show that this uh, request has been sent. So, so this all works basically in the same way that you're used to. It's just that all the activity is we uh, offloaded into your uh, cloud session. Um, and um, yeah, so as I said, important to note that the cloud session runs in, your, in the same time zone as you you are in, lo uh, in your <laughs> as you are in yourself or your your browser. <laughs> Um, and also very important, especially for the existing Turbo uh, customers, is that all the CRM and all the integrations, uh, if you were to upgrade to uh, Cloud Edition, they will basically work out of the box uh, in, in the Cloud Edition. There's, there's no migration, uh, it will just work. Also, any uh, running campaigns will work, uh, they will continue running. Uh, so uh, the actual the transition from Turbo to Cloud is really, uh, is really really straightforward uh, so just to put people's minds at ease there uh, and also backing out in case you decide that it's not for you uh, backing out but also backing out from um, cloud to turbo is also a seamless uh, seamless experience um, and if I can just add there, then yes, I have received your connection request. So yes, that's all worked seamlessly. But these things, as, as you're probably familiar, they always take a bit longer when you're doing a live webinar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's good. Um, so uh, yeah, this uh, one other thing I wanted to show you here um, for the more advanced use cases. So when you go to the options in uh, in your yeah. Uh, in your extension uh, you'll see there's, there's there's only very few options here um uh, but you can actually switch uh, switch to the expert um interface uh, which is a few more options as you can see all the automation actions have been uh are, yeah, are no longer here um and all these settings that are here basically will be synchronized to your cloud session and then have an impact there so um, the same goes for the webhook API. So anything you put in here will also be used by the cloud. And in that way, you can still use the integrations that you've uh, uh, used in the past. And also in this way, um, and using the expert mode, we've also um, um, have this option to scan. So that option is only available in expert mode to scan. And also you can see here, download and uh, clear uh, that is to allow people who uh, have, have used the uh, scanning and then building lists and uh, basically modifying those lists before, uh, generally speaking, using the um, uh, what we now have the enroll from file. 
uh, before we had the revisit tool, but now you really can use this and roll from file. Um, and you can use that to to then scan, save, modify, and upload your list uh, into the uh, into the funnel. Um, so that is one more advanced uh, scenario. So um, that is what I wanted to show you. So I think from here um, I will hopefully find the uh, presentation again. Uh, <laughs> let me just uh, see. Uh, yeah, there it is. Um, and I will hand over to Charles. Well, this is this is really where we were talking about, you know, the uh, the, the how how we do. We've covered most of this uh, already. I think you yep. were going to sort of cover a lot of this, though. Will uh, sort of uh, after the demo, sort of how to start, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All of the um, the web pages should now have been updated with the new subscriptions available and uh, all the appropriate pricing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Do you want to add anything here, Will? Uh, no, I think yeah, you're right. I mean, I covered uh, most of this, but just to reiterate. Uh, if you want to get started with the cloud edition, um, if you're an existing customer, you can go to your profile, manage your subscription, uh, or find a pricing page on the on the website. Uh, one thing to to uh, well as a um, just to, to be aware of is that you don't you don't start from scratch. So the activity, all the the, the queued activity will, will be picked up in the cloud session. So as I said, the migration. Uh, from turbo to cloud is really uh, is really seamless um, and for new users uh, yeah just follow those three steps uh, if you don't follow those steps in that order and really the only thing that you could possibly do wrong is be logged into the wrong account uh, but then you can just easily uh, log into a different account into your local LinkedIn and then they will automatically be synchronized as well um, in case you do actually end up uh, in the cloud, when you check the cloud monitor to verify if you're in the right account and, and if something is not working, um, just get in touch with us and we'll uh, be able to reset or uh, restart whatever uh, uh, needs uh, restarting there. Um, we obviously uh, well are keen to hear your feedback there. So if you also have just have any feedback, just also get in touch with us. Um, uh, so yeah, I think I think it's a uh, it's uh, really cool. I'm looking forward to hearing from uh, yeah from the uh, from our customers to, what, to see what they think and uh, uh, start start using. It. Fabulous. Well, thanks for the demo and and for managing to pop your pop your face up on screen. <laughs> Want to um, let people know the the offer that we've got and then we can run through the questions. Uh, yes, so we have a, uh, a special cloud launch offer, as you can see here. Um, it is a 25% um, off the uh, first three months uh, for monthly or one year uh, for annual subscriptions. Uh, the code is there, Ducks Cloud Out uh, 23. And uh, for those who are uh, first to uh, uh, to use this code, uh, we uh, we have got some caps uh, in uh, in the um, in the uh, cloud edition color that uh, will be uh, handing out to the first 20 people to uh, to use this code. Now this code is valid until the end of November uh, midnight CET. C -E -T. Uh, I'm in Holland, so uh, that's why it's in CET. Um, and the code will um, yeah. Uh, will be available to people on this uh, this webinar, so um, make use of it. Fantastic. So I've just posted the details for the um, the cloud pricing plan on the website, and also I've added that um, that offer code into the session as well into the chat. So if you all have a look in there, you can get the details. Um, now a few people have already popped up and said, "Oh, they can't see the stuff on the website." You might have to refresh your cache um, because if you're existing users and you go to the website regularly then it, it's remembering the old pages but it literally went live just before the webinar so um yeah, if you have a so, 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 yeah. literally, <laughs> sorry job it was only one minute or two minutes before the launch the start the start of the webinar so it's uh it might also take a while to be uh distributed on the hosting platform uh 
as well. But uh, it, uh, yeah, I would imagine by uh, yeah by now, if you refresh, it should definitely be uh, showing the cloud edition. Yeah, I would think so. We've got some great questions coming in, some of which I think you've possibly even covered in the last couple of minutes. Um, but if I start running through them, let me have a look. Um, <clears throat> so this has come from Quino, I think the name. What kind of problems or errors um, we could have before will not occur because we're now using Cloud Edition? Uh, well, the most common errors that we see uh, that, that, uh, in the support uh, channel is really around uh, the combination with other extensions being installed. We obviously uh, don't have any installation, uh, sorry, any uh, uh, unknowns in the installation of uh, of the cloud, and it's really by standardizing the environment um, we just know that uh, the operation of production will just be able to be a lot more predictable in. Uh, uh, in delivering the uh, uh, the outreach uh, and also so it, it's partly the, the standardized installation and the other part is that because there was no manual <coughs> no manual work happening on the same environment uh, or any sort of network issues that could happen so the, it's, yeah so all those all those sort of moving parts that we generally see can cause issues in uh, uh, in deployment of uh, of pro and turbo uh, are completely gone in uh, in the cloud edition. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, the next one is from Brad. Um, so I run Ducks for clients in multiple loca locations. I typically set up a server near my client's location so that the Ducks activity is conceivably coming from the client and not getting flagged. So this is my question. Are we able to set up the geolocation of the IP address? Uh, that's all done for you already. Uh, so the, the cloud edition uh, will uh, basically look like it's running locally to you. Great. That's super simple then, Brad. <laughs> um, do I need to update my current Chrome plugin if I'm using Turbo in order to get cloud? That's from Richard. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yes, the cloud edition uh, for, for the cloud edition to work, you need the version 9.0.4 or later. Well, it's obviously at the moment uh, that version came out today, so that's the version that you need, or a later version. But the older versions, uh, they won't work with uh, because they, they don't have the uh, uh, the logic in there to launch the uh, the cloud set to communicate with the cloud session. So uh, you do need that version. Yeah, okay. just, just make sure you've updated your, your Chrome extensions to the latest version and that should uh, should work seamlessly then. And just another bit of clarification, where can they find that new extension? It's on the same, so if you could, if you, uh, so the, the, the extension is the same extension uh, as it is for all editions of DuckSoup. So there, there are no, there are no different extensions, there's only one. And the extension will basically uh, just behave according to the license or the plan that you purchased. So you just download the extension from the uh, from the Chrome Web Store, and if you uh, then if you have used it before, you probably uh, end up on Starter Edition. Uh, and then if you do uh, if you do an upgrade to Cloud Edition, uh, it will the, the same extension will then uh, detect that and will uh, run in that uh, particular mode. Okay. Perfect. Um, just for clarity, then, if I turn off my computer, does LinkedIn log me out? Uh, no, it doesn't. No. LinkedIn does not log you out. LinkedIn will only log you out when you explicitly log out. Uh, so even okay. if you close the tab, uh, LinkedIn doesn't log you out. If you close your browser, LinkedIn doesn't log you out. It's only when you click on the, the menu option to log out, um, uh, then that's when you will be logged out of LinkedIn. Great, thank you. That was from Rick. Um, would the traffic for the cloud originate from the Ducks IP service, which I believe it would do? So would that not then trigger LinkedIn's detection algorithms? Uh, no, there is some networking magic uh, happening in the background. Uh, so it, no, the traffic will not be coming from uh, from Ducks service. No. Lovely. I like that phrase, networking magic, so I'm just jotting that one down. I'm 
sure I've got somewhere to use it in the future. Um, <coughs> do I need to upgrade from Turbo for the cloud access or is it the same package? No, so the, the, the Turbo plan is a, is a different plan from the cloud edition. Uh, so you do need, if you want to use the cloud edition, then you need to uh, upgrade. And you can do that in your, when you go to the Docs Dash uh, managed subscription, you can do it from there. Um, and also worth noting is you, if you do try it out, uh, that uh, if you, and you're halfway a particular month or a year of your uh, Turbo, that you will get a, a prorated refund of what's left of your uh, subscription. So just to be aware, and that's on top of the reduction as well, uh, the uh, with the coupon. That's but great. you do need to upgrade the cloud edition plan, otherwise you the cloud edition will not be activated. Um, and somewhere I've seen, and I'll ask it now because it's kind of linked, is um, if you've got campaign activity going on on your Turbo account and you upgrade to cloud, does it carry across? Yeah, absolutely. The, um, <clears throat> so you, uh, you need to obviously be logged into the same uh, account in uh, in the Docs Dash uh, and also in the in the, in the extension. Um, and the uh, yeah, all the activity that happens inside uh, on the Docs of Service really always happens in the context of uh, this Google account that you use to log in. And if you, if you swap from Turbo. To cloud with the same Google account, then it will basically just uh, continue where you left off. Okay. Um, um, we've got more questions around the location, so we've already touched on that one. Um, that's for William. Um, does each contact have to be enrolled manually? individually or can we have duck soup enroll all contacts under a given url query that's kind of well the, 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 the enrollment process is the same in uh, in in the cloud edition as it was in uh, or is in turbo so you can do a search and then you can do a bulk enroll in uh, in linkedin or you can also do a scan and then download and then enroll from a file so there's basically there's a best way of doing it and there's a way of handpicking the profiles to, uh, in the in Docs. Um, here's one from, this is from David. So does the cloud support the webhook and remote command API? E.g. can we capture the data as well as remotely control visits, follows, etc.? Yeah, absolutely. You can, do, uh, uh, you can add webhooks to, uh, to receive the data and um, you can also use the uh, the, the a remote control API or via the test tool to trigger activity uh, uh, that basically will work uh, as is. It will just, instead of being executed on your local extension, it will be executed in the cloud session. Okay. Um, so cloud, so this is a question from Harry. Cloud version, <clears throat> is the cloud version available with the DuckSuit Pro features or only with Turbo features? Um, well, the sort of the the, uh, the all the automations in the, in the cloud edition uh, are executed via a campaign, unless you use the you're using the API to uh, to populate the queue. Um, but the, the sort of the pattern that you see in the professional edition, uh, where Duxu basically opens a little. Uh, uh, window and then runs the activity in the little uh, preview window. Um, that is that is really only there uh, to work in your local browser. So, so that sort of functionality, um, yeah, is not available in uh, in the cloud. In the cloud, what you uh, uh, what you then need to do to uh, yeah is, is to define a campaign with the steps and then add uh, prospects to that campaign. Okay, perfect. Um, <clears throat> are we able to send connection requests based on the target's time zone? Based on the target's time zone? Well, LinkedIn does not expose the time zone of the person you're sending a request to. So, uh, well, so no. no the, the, the scheduling, all the scheduling that happens in DuckSoup is tied to your time zone. Um, what the thinking is that uh, uh, you want to make sure that you, your activity is uh, well is in a sort of sensible office hours. Um, 
because generally, yeah, uh, people uh, do not appreciate receiving uh, LinkedIn uh, connection requests in two o'clock in the morning. Uh, I think. Uh, so what, what I just had, yeah, what I just had there is you know think about think about the target audience. So, for example, if you're working in one part of the world and you're targeting targeting people in another part of the world, just use the planner to make sure that the Duck Soup robot is running at that appropriate offset time for your target audience based upon the geo geographical location of your target. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, this is a sort of a more general LinkedIn question. Can we search by certain criteria instead of specific people, such as hospitals, healthcare CEOs, etc.? Um, yes, we can do that. Um, I'll see if I can use find. The search criteria, use the search criteria within within LinkedIn or Sales Navigator to do that. I'll I'll dig out the uh, the link to the uh, the blog post. I think you're thinking of Joe. Yeah, thank you, thank you. That's for Brian. Um, can I manage two separate LinkedIn accounts? Do I need to be logged into those LinkedIn accounts to manage drip campaigns? Uh, so to manage uh, multiple accounts, um, you basically just need, in, uh, as before, you need to uh, log into an, into the Docs dash and also into the browser, into your local browser with uh, a different Chrome profile or different, sorry, Google account. And then, so you, you need one Google account for each of your uh, LinkedIn accounts that you're using. Um, and yeah, from that perspective, uh, the, that still works the same as it does uh, in uh, in Turbo. With the difference is that you only need to um, yeah, you need to be logged into that session just to add people uh, or prospects to your campaign. Uh, and then later you can just close those browsers and uh, Ducks will continue working uh, in the different sessions uh, in the cloud. So um, we obviously are aware that this is not ideal for uh, running multiple uh, or especially if you're running uh, tens or maybe 50 or 100 uh, profiles. So we will be uh, as it was sort of the first thing that we're working on now is really is to have a uh, a multi-seat dashboard where you can basically uh, just switch different LinkedIn accounts uh, uh, from the uh, from the dashboard. But that's yeah, uh, the way that in this version 904, that's not available yet, but it will be available very soon. Okay. Um, mm -mm -mm, that one was to Vladimir. Um, do I have to remove the current Ducks extension, download the new one? Just click on the new one and it will upload. I think is the answer there. That's for Robert. Um, can Will come back to the settings? It sounded like you need your expert settings done first before you can get to cloud. Is that correct? Or can you do the settings after you get the cloud subscription? That's from William. So the uh, all the settings, uh, well, basically a lot of the settings in the cloud are uh, not relevant, as in a lot of the settings that you see in the uh, in the full uh, options panel in uh, in Docs in Docsoup are not relevant to um, uh, the activity in the cloud. So those one those you are hidden or have been removed from the uh, the cloud edition. Um, but to get going, uh, no, you do not need the uh, the expert UI. Um, then we would have failed in our aim to make it as simple as possible. Uh, so you just need to uh, just rely on the defaults. The defaults are uh, generally um, pretty spot on in the, in terms of volume and speed of activity. Uh, so no, uh, you do not need to go to the advanced settings. It's only when um, yeah when you're advanced users, like you need your custom webhooks or you need to download uh, CSV files. That's when you do need to enable that option, but uh, otherwise you don't. Okay. Um, a few people just asking to reiterate how cloud makes life simpler. <laughs> um, so just to come back to it, I think we, we look at the fact that it's 24 seven. I think that's one of the biggest features. Um, it gives you the opportunity to carry on working, whether you're on holiday, you're asleep, you know, so it can kind of turn away in the background whilst you're doing other things. Um, yeah. Whereas previously you had to keep your, your laptop open and um, 
keep yourself logged into things, you can shut your laptop and walk away and it will carry on. So for me, I think that's one of the biggest features as a marketer that you can, um, it can keep working while you take a day off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not that I ever, of course, take a day yeah. off, you know. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but you could. <laughs> let's have a look i'm trying to make sure that we're kind of cloud specific our integrations with popular crms available within the cloud that's from carl uh, yeah the integrations are um uh, available as before i can just quickly show you that actually um uh, i hope yeah so i think you can see this right yeah so so as you can see here, the uh, this CRM connection panel is still uh, available, um, and you can still add connections. And as you add them, uh, they will be used by the by the cloud session. So there's no. Uh... Oh, and he oh, just dropped off. Lost. We may have just lost Will. I think we may have just lost him. Um, I'm just Hopefully everybody can still hear us. Um, so <laughs> what Will was just saying, yes, our uh, regular CRM connections are um, uh, are available. So we've got the full into the, the direct integrations with PipeDrive, HubShop, HubSpot, and SharpSpring. Um, and this is in this is in response to I think it was Carl's question, wasn't it? Yep, we also have um, direct integrations with uh, Make and Zapier. Um, so if you've got another platform that you want to integrate with, you can still do that um, with the cloud version as well. Okay, that's great. Um, <clears throat> we've got a few, oh, there's loads coming in. Goodness me, you're all on fire today. Um, excellent. excellent, this is good news. Just also while I'm thinking about it, what I will do at the end of the session is I'm gonna put together a list of all the questions that we've had because lots of them are being repeated so later this week hopefully if not early next week we'll have a list of kind of frequently asked questions uh, available for everybody so i'm just pre-warning you if we don't get to your question today we will answer it so look out for our updates there um, um Da, 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 da. Or do you tell me using new services? Okay, there was a question from Brian. Considering the services, I need help finding new contacts and also sending drip campaigns to my current network. Can you do this on SalesNav as well? Can you link link directly to Pardo? Um, I'm not heard of Pardo, so I'm not entirely sure about that one. But if it's got an integration with Zapier or Make, Make then yes, you can link via those, not directly. Um, but yeah, absolutely. If you enrol prospects from from Sales Navigator, yeah, absolutely. That's what Ducks there, Duck Soup is there for. So. Uh, but we'll follow that one up a little bit more um, uh, in due course with the questions. Yeah, lovely. Um, we're still getting quite a few people asking about um, how to upgrade if they've got Turbo. Um, so just to remind you all, it, there's not an upgrade button. You just go and arguably purchase the cloud version and you will be um, reimbursed or, you know, the finances will be sorted so that you're not buying both. Um, it's just sort of run as an upgrade so you're not looking for an upgrade button you're just looking for the buy cloud and the finances will be sorted out and just make sure you've got the latest version of the extension now if whenever you restart chrome then then chrome automatically updates your extensions anyway so you will be able to uh, uh to do that um so it, yeah whenever you restart chrome then then the, the extensions get updated to the latest versions uh, the latest yeah. available versions so it's um, restart rather than uninstalling and reinstalling is it giles Essentially, yeah. Yeah, just restart Chrome and you'll see your extensions get updated automatically. Okay. Um, I'm based in the UK but run DuckSuit for clients abroad. Can I access their account from the UK and use cloud? Currently, I run virtual machines in the local country. Okay. Um, so, yeah, wherever you wherever you run, wherever you log on to the, uh, yeah, to, to the, the Chrome account from will be the, 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 the location that DuckSoup picks up as that location running from. Uh, oh, it's Elvin. Oh, hi, Elvin. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so if, if, for example, if you log on to their, um, in, onto the Google account from uh, via um, a VPN or whatever, wherever that location of the VPN is, then that's the, the location that DuckSoup will take um, from a service perspective there. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things. You know, you have to work that one out as you go, uh, as as we we go through. But yeah, duck soup, the the, the network magic, as as Will mentioned earlier, um, will will occur. So uh, yeah. Fabulous. Okay. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> crest. Uh, crest. Anyway, I see that you managed to continue, so that's good. <clears throat> I've covered that one. We've talked about that turbo one. Um, there's, a, there's a question there from Chico. Um, Chico, if you could, uh, if you've got a problem with regards uh, turbo not working correctly, um, if you could reach out to our um, support team, and I'm going to put their email address into your into my response there. Um, please do ping them a message and we'll get the details as to why that's not working correctly and see what's going on because then we can uh, get to the bottom of that. Yeah, and I've just put their email address in the chat as well for people who are after the slides from today. Um, awesome. So that's in there too. I think, Giles, we're looking at all the same people. Quite possibly. Okay. <laughs> um, can you use LinkedIn while it's running on cloud, Tom? Yes, you can. Um, how does scan mode relate? Can you get cloud to run a scan based on a saved search, or yeah, is so it what's on the screen? That's from David. Yeah. So, so if you've got if you've got your saved search and you want to to gather the information from that that saved search in a in a in a quick way and be able to get that data into a CSV file, you just run the scan as you would normally uh, with with DuckSoup at the moment. Download that uh, that file and then. Do what you like with that file before you then enroll people or decide who from that list you want to enroll um, the enroll from file option is there under the funnel flow um, so that should all work seamlessly i'm not sure if your screen share is still working well or if uh, you'll need to stop sharing and reshare because I, I think yeah. we've frozen on the crm <laughs> connection page. that's probably what well that's why i've been frowning at my screen because i'm trying to see how to get it to work but <laughs> <laughs> that is not me because it's telling me that it's viewing my screen, but I think I don't think anyone apart from me can see my screen right now. So I don't think that's going to be um, uh, yeah I don't think it's going to be a success anymore. So well, let's just do it out. How long before a multi-account version will be available? We want to centralize the management of several accounts in one single cloud for easy management. Uh, well, I think. Uh, it's sort of a um, uh, at least well within three months uh, definitely um, it is definitely a top priority because it is um, also one of the things that people have been asked asking uh, for quite a bit is just that for us uh, it, it was a more logical step uh, uh, to make cloud edition work like this first and then introduce the multi uh, the multi-account uh, dashboards, but uh, it is, um, yeah, uh, I would definitely um, think that that will be ready in the next three months. Okay, great. Um, do I need to purchase one DuckSoup cloud plan for each LinkedIn that I will manage with DuckSoup with each in LinkedIn with each LinkedIn account I will manage with DuckSoup? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, great. Um, Ian is saying, if I go to buy cloud, it takes me to an upgrade link, and that link isn't working properly. Might be worth just double checking on that one. Uh, yeah, that's difficult to uh, diagnose from here. Okay. Um, we'll double check that one and get back. Yeah, yeah. yeah always, um, uh, maybe just uh, uh, send an email to the info address, uh, and then they can uh, see what's up. We'll also the uh, uh, just just gone live with the uh, those things. So if there are a few um, well rough edges there, then uh, that is understandable. But uh, upgrades should be possible. Okay, I've got a couple of other people who are saying that there's an error message. So please, can you um, get in touch with info at ducks-soup.com? I've put that in the chat as well. That was the last message in the chat. So for those of you who are seeing an error message, if you could get in touch with info and we'll get onto it straight away after the session. I can just jump in with one there. There's one from Brian. Uh, what's the main difference between cloud and turbo? So cloud basically offers all the features of turbo without you having to keep your computer running or your device running. Um, it's there available 24-7. Um, what, what, what you see with Turbo is, for example, your will only run when your device is on, when you're logged on to LinkedIn and when you're there, when, when your computer is active. 
Uh, with cloud, you basically you can enroll your prospects and everything will then happen in the cloud without you having to go in and, and, and continue to have your device on. So that's the main difference. Um, it's that, that basically hands-free lead generation, um, for want of a better expression. Um, and also, a couple of you have pointed out that I put the, the code in incorrectly. It was just a test to make sure that you were all um, really truly listening uh, and looking at the slides. So I'm just pasting it in correctly this time, apologies. So it's Ducks Cloud Out 23 is the code. And um, thanks for those of you who were really tuning in. It's <laughs> a question um, from Simon here. Is there a higher risk of being penalized by LinkedIn given the all originating IPs will now be from your cloud rather than the normal user IP address? Uh, well, that is not uh, what I think will happen. I mean, uh, as you well, if you are, know how networking works, um, when you access your LinkedIn account from work, you'll be sharing uh, your account uh, or the IP address of your uh, external gateway, which is, tends to be used by thousands of people on larger organizations. Uh, if you move from mobile uh, to your house, you'll be changing IP addresses from your mobile network. So the, the public IP address of your access is always changing. Um, and yeah, so uh, not a, uh, uh, an area of concern that I can, uh, I can see. Okay. Um, I'm a Turbo user on a yearly plan. It looks like I have to pay extra for the cloud plan. Can I continue using Turbo through the Chrome extension? Yes. Uh, no, if you upgrade to cloud, then you can't uh, use uh, Turbo because basically the uh, extension will run in cloud mode. Uh, so, um, and when you do upgrades, then you will actually get a rebate on the uh, or a, a prorate refund on the months that you haven't uh, that, that are still on your contract. So, uh, so but sure. yeah, yeah, that's a choice. So you can continue to use Turbo if you want to upgrade, then you upgrade. Yeah. Um, did you say the launch discount code was only available on monthly plan or yearly plan also it's available on all of the plans um, but it's only available until the 28th of november so that's our next webinar just to just to uh so to, so it's not all plans it's only the cloud plans so all cloud plans so monthly or annual or team or agency um, and it's uh, until the 30th not the 28th um, oh, oh bad bad me I thought it was the 28th <laughs> um, what would you so just to reiterate I think because we're going to have to close this soon a few people saying so what are the three main advantages of the cloud edition compared to the turbo will perhaps you can answer that one oh well it's, uh, it's basically what we started out with right it's the uh, uh the fact that it's um uh, and then no, 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 I, I, I can't remember those three points that i that were put on the slides yeah. yeah thank you very much charles uh lifesaver so well, you're using the same proven technology uh, that we have been uh, building for the last nine years. So that is one big factor. And it's instead of um, uh, only being on when your machine is on, so uh, or when you're, for example, when you have a laptop and you travel, so it's only on when your laptop is open, it's always on. So your outreach will keep on running, even if you're uh, not in, 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 a, in a sort of, well, in a connected environment or not behind the laptop or uh, anything and uh, it's a secure deployment you don't have to worry about any elements of the deployment it's all done for you in a standardized way um instead of yeah having to take care of the environment uh, yourself so uh, those are the records so we still have heaps of questions but i think i'm probably going to uh, head towards wrapping it up now um, as I said previously, we will capture all of these questions and we will try and answer them all. Um, so we'll ping out some, um, we'll probably pop a, a blog or a link out somewhere to, to let you all know where to action it. Um, so from my perspective then, um, I'll just let you all know that our next webinar, if you could ping on, there we go. Um, my lovely assistant, thanks Will. <laughs> 
Our next webinar is on the 28th of November and we'll be talking or taking a look at how to get started with the duck suit plan and work out which of our three plans is right for you. So we'll be looking at Pro, Turbo and the Cloud Editions. So some of these questions may come back again. Um, so if your question hasn't been answered, it's probably another good one for you to join um, and you'll get to see a further demo. Um, perhaps, I don't know if, if you'd like to add anything to that, Giles, in terms of any other content we'll be running through while I just uh, pop um, basically I mean we, we did we did um a getting started I think it was back at the end the start of the year but now we've got the new the new version which is available we want to sort of walk through how you get started what what scenarios you might want to be using the pro version why you might want to use turbo and what circumstances might might uh, prompt you to to go for the cloud version uh, so yeah uh, sort of covering all the basics and, and how to get up and running as quickly as possible Fab. So I've just put for everybody, I've just put the, um, oh, she said she put the registration in, but I put the wrong registration details in. Just go to the website and it's on there at the top already. Um, so you can find that on the webinar pages. Apologies. Um, I'm, I'm too eager. Um, if you're already a user, uh, we love to have your feedback. And obviously we, we normally flash up the um, the blue and the yellow caps at this point in time so if you go on and put a review onto our system yeah mine are over here in the corner um if you go onto g2 um and put in a review if you add today's date um then and let me put that in the chat multitasking that is accurate so you can use that one to um to put in your reviews of our products um and let us know what you think um I think that's it from all of us. We hope the session has been helpful. Um, as I said, I know there's a lot of questions that have been unanswered, but we'll do our best to get, get them all answered over the next few days. And we look forward to hopefully welcoming you all back again in two weeks time. So I'll say thank you from me. Yep, and uh, thank you from myself as well for everyone joining us. And from me. <laughs> I hope uh, everyone is excited as I am. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we look forward to hearing uh, what do you all think? Yeah, fantastic. See you all soon. See you, See you. next time. Bye.